Hey kids, so today I'm doing something a little differently. Today I'm testing out the Fifine K669B microphone. Now, when I started doing this, I was actually going to be recording this with the microphone in the USB port of the phone, which totally works, but for some reason, and I think it's important to point this out, there was some kind of issue where, I think it's the USB port, I think it was not recording all the samples, it was dropping out periodically, so the audio and video were going out of sync. So right now I have it plugged into my laptop, I'm recording separately on there, and I'm going to mix the audio and video together in post. Let's take a second to appreciate the construction of this thing. It's got an all aluminum body. It looks really nice on the desk. Apparently there's also a reddish color one, but the one they sent me was the black one. The mesh is aluminum, the body is aluminum, and even the little metal knob on the front, which is pretty sturdy. Um, as you can see here, I have it cranked up to 80%. That's basically where you're going to leave it 99% of the time, because everything else either sounds exactly the same, but not as bright, or completely unusable. The, the noise is, that it picks up at that point is just ridiculous. But this at this level right here, especially recording with um, Pulse Audio and Linux, and of course, whatever Android uses, it sounds really good. So, Fifine sent me this microphone. This is a review unit that I get to keep. Having said that, I'm not going to fluff it up. I'm not going to pretend like this is better than it really is. This is a damn good microphone. It is not perfect. And they don't expect me to fluff it up higher than I have to. They really want my honest opinion. They want me to share that opinion with you. I'm not the first person to cover this microphone, of course. Other people have covered it, if you look around. Uh, on the, the video sites, you will find other people making reviews of this exact same model. However, I think I offer something that most of them don't. I'm a Linux user. And if you are subscribed to my channel, there's a good chance that you are either interested in Linux or um, a Linux user yourself. So this thing works beautifully in Linux. It sometimes works beautifully in Android too. If, if, if I think, I think it's my case was keeping the the plug from sticking in there properly. I'll come back to that later. This microphone has a, I believe it's pronounced a corduroy, corduroy, cordioid, cordioid. The word is cardioid polar pattern. That one's really hard for me to say for some reason. So everything directly in front of you sounds really good, but if I turn the microphone to the side, things start to get a little muffled. It's directional. Um, so you, of course you want it pointed right at your noggin. This is my Annie Pro. I love this little keyboard. Um, this has uh, cherry clones. They're gar 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 <laughs> They're mechanical switches, blues. I'm gonna go ahead and do a typing test so that you can hear how beautiful this sounds. Now the now the keyboard is like three inches from the microphone, so I'm going to stop talking. I say this because one of the best options I think for this is for anyone who does like screencasts or game streaming and they have these noisy, obnoxious keyboards that we all love so much. This is a good microphone for that. You hook this thing up, right now I just got the tabletop, ta tabletop mount but you get this thing on an arm put a decent windscreen on it but that $30 ish microphone a cheap $15 arm and a pop filter and you have a damn good setup for that kind of setup stuff so we're gonna go over the details real quick of the five fine microphone I made this little presentation here just kind of show you where I'm at mentally so this thing's got some pros it's got a well-made aluminum case a very strong metal stand. It works in Windows. It works in Mac OS. I'm running it right now. You're hearing it right now under Linux. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, this thing works in Android. You plug this sucker into your USB port. You select microphone input on your video camera or sound recording app. There it is. Very clean audio. You can hear well, I mean, when the video is posted online, there's some recompression there, but for the most part, you can hear 
how clean it is. This thing's not perfect though. Uh, for my particular use, it's working pretty good. For my particular use, it's working pretty good, but it's not for everybody. So for example, there's no headphone jack. Some people need that real-time monitoring, especially doing kind of pro-level music. You gotta know exactly what the microphone's getting in real time. Now you can do that with software, um, but there's always gonna be like a little bit of lag or some some kind of learning curve at least that makes that a little more difficult. Not to say it can't be done, it's just it's not built into the hardware. It's got a permanently attached USB cable. This one try, kind of drives me up the wall. Um, it's a good quality cable, don't get me wrong. It's a really good quality cable, but if I need a longer cable or if I just don't want that much slack all over my desk, um, nothing I can do about it. It's got that permanently attached one. Um, the mid-tones are a little light. So when it comes to like the fullness and brightness that you'd get from like a musician's microphone, this one's kind of lacking in that department. Not to say that for voiceovers, for like streaming videos, like Twitch style, this is gonna be pretty good, especially if you pair it with a nice microphone arm, which I don't have quite set up just yet. And if you're doing, if you're doing pro audio, you're eventually gonna need XLR connections. This does not come with. This is purely a USB. It does USB very well, but it will only be a USB microphone. Um, it's not very portable. Like, you know, sometimes I do voiceover work a little bit with with my earbuds. These ones I can slide into any pocket. This one's definitely a backpack type carry with you. Something to keep in mind. Again, who is this for? Game streamers. Get that arm. You get that pop filter. Um, it does a pretty good job of rejecting any noise. It's not directly in front of it. For video chat, I'm using this at my job for video chat. I've been using it for last last week, and everyone can hear me fine. They don't they don't get that ghost pop back on themselves. Podcasting, I'm seriously debating picking up a second one of these for my buddy's podcast. Um, I mean. It's, it's 20, 25, 30 dollars, and it's very easy to use. If you don't know pro audio equipment, you can figure this sucker out. Who this will not work for? Again, the lack of richness and sound and the lack of an XLR cable, this may not work for serious musicians. If you're going into the studio, I mean, they might have USB jacks, but let's face it, nine times out of 10, it's gonna be XLR. Um, again, vloggers, like, you know, you get the, I have, uh, I have the Rode VideoMic Me connects to my phone. This is probably the best option for video blogging. It just snaps on the phone or the camera, records right to the onboard. This is going to be a on the table type thing. You got to bring it with you. You set it on the table. So that's something to keep in mind also. All right, guys. Well, that kind of sums it up for now. If you have any questions, Feel free to leave them below or, of course, reach out to me on Macedon, and I'll do my best to fill them in as fast as I can. Anyways, guys, till next time, peace. <music>